we're going to do a Q&A on this Instagram today. Sam Walker underscore HMP. So um, get your questions in. Let me see what you've got to ask me. And you know I'm always open and honest. So ask me anything in a bit. I wouldn't change anything, you know. Um, I just believe that in life, you've just got to keep going with no regrets. And that's all I do. Just keep moving forward. I'm just going to focus on um, legit companies, you know, just setting them up. My um, sportswear brand. And also, I'm going to get into diamonds, buying and selling diamonds from Africa. And that's what I'm getting into. Um, I don't know, but nice one for that. Fucking hard work, you know, you've got to barricade your cell door up so they can't get in. Because sometimes they try and rush in your cell. Um, so as long as you're barricaded up, then you're all right. You can just flush it down the toilet. The justice system's fucked up, lad. It's just they have, the judges are nonsense, aren't they? A lot of them. That's why they support pedos. That's why pedos get less sentences than drug dealers. The first thing I'm going to do when I get out is see my son. Um, it's been a year now. Then um, later on, go for food with the lads. And then back home and get some female attention would have been missing for a year. How many prisons have I been in um, this year? I don't know, you know. I get moved around prison to prison more times than your local prostitute has men. So um, I've lost count. When I was 15 um, in Stokey Prison many years ago, a lad committed suicide. I looked through his flap and he was hanging. He was only like a 16-year-old boy. Um, that's probably the worst thing. When I was 15 um, in Stokey Prison many years ago, a lad committed suicide. I looked through his flap and he was hanging. He was only like a 16 year old boy. Um, that's probably the worst thing. Yes, bro, nice one for that lad. Um, Maz has just been moved to Strange Ways Jail. Um, yeah, so he's over there, so it's only me and Wes here now, bro. They will get every last day they possibly can out of me. I do double the sentence to, for the certain crime that anyone else will because they fucking hate me, the system, because I've exposed them so many times. In Forest Bank Jail at the moment, I'll put my address on the little thing, so anyone who wants to get on me, hit me up. Um, hopefully at the end of August, bro. Hopefully. I'm just waiting to see now. It might be before, it might be slightly after, but as it stands, it's the end of August. The documentary is meant to be out at the start of the year on Channel 4, three-part documentary, but what they said is because I'm in prison, they can't publish it because they don't want to be seen to be promoting prisoners, so it'll be, it'll be out when I get out. Um, I've got souped on with three boxes of green, so yeah, that's what I'm in for, lad. Three key of weed. Forest Bank Jail at the moment, I'll put my address on the little thing, so anyone who wants to get on me, hit me up. Um, hopefully at the end of August, bro, hopefully, I'm just waiting to see now. It might be before, it might be slightly after, but as it stands, it's the end of August. The documentary is meant to be out the, the start of the year on Channel 4, three-part documentary, but what they said is because I'm in prison, they can't publish it because they don't want to be seen to be promoting prisoners, so it'll be, it'll be out when I get out. Um, I've got soup done with three boxes of green, so yeah, that's what I'm in for, lad. Three key of weed. Um, how many jails have been in my life? I don't know, you know, probably about fucking 30, 40. I can, name, I can, I can actually name 30 off the top of my head, yeah, so probably about 40, I think, um, up and down the country since I was a kid. To be honest, I don't really complain about food, you know, because it's not actually that bad. And plus, we're in jail, aren't we? It's our own fault. So who the fuck am I to complain about food when there's people in the slums starving who've got no food? So yeah, it's okay. Do you know what? I've not been up to Glasgow yet, but I've got so many people who follow me on my social media from Glasgow um, who are always in my inbox. So I will be up there at some point. Um, and yeah, we'll get on the fucking mad, um, mad one in fucking Glasgow. Well, that's a bit of a fucking nosy question, isn't it? That's like me asking you how much your mars worth. Nice one for that. You ladies know I love a good compliment, so thanks. I could sit here and say I think all of them are, but the reality is I'd probably say about 15, 20%. The other 80% are clearly not nonsense, but I'd say a good 15, 20% are 100%. Nice one for that, bro. Appreciate that, you know. And I would let everyone know, don't think it goes unnoticed. The comments I get off you is all loving the messages. I can't reply to all of you, but um, I appreciate you all. So thanks for that. Yeah, I do reply to letters um, if people want me to reply to them. But for the first six months of my sentence, I was getting to reply to them. But for the first six months of my sentence, I was getting fucked down to any letters I was sending out to people or I was getting the security was stopping them. But it's all sorted now. So yeah, right away. 
be honest, um, James English asked me a few times to do a podcast, a few people have, but I just haven't needed to do one. Most people need to do them to get followers, whereas I don't. But I might do one after I come back from Africa. Well, stay tuned, there's loads to come. Um, yeah, I'll be getting active soon, in a bit. I'm single at the moment, yeah, but um, who knows what could go on in the future. I've been single for eight years, since 2013. Depends what you want to do. If you're involved in graft, then don't get caught. If you're legit, then just focus on your legit stuff. If you want a good life where you don't have to look over your shoulder, just be legit. I never disclose who I have sex with. It um, doesn't matter who it is. No one will ever hear me on social media saying who I've had sex with, because it's all private, and I keep everything private. The thing I'm looking forward to most is seeing my son. That's literally it. That's, that's like my priority, really. Um, yeah. And that's it, just seeing me still have a little game of footy with him. Class example of the best things in life are free. Just to kick a kick um, of football on the field of me son. What a weird little question coming from you there, lad. Fucking hell, what are you doing there? You sat in your mad box room, fucking wanking away, fucking waiting for a reply to this, you fucking nonce. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going back to slums um, within a few months after I get out, 100%. I'm getting straight back over there. Um, there's so much I want to do over there. Plus, I want to start a movement against corrupt charities and expose them. For anyone, prison can be daunting when you walk in, but what, you, what you're forgetting is that most prisoners are scumbags, so they're trying to test it, so you can't show any weakness with these fucking little muppets in here. So you've got to be a bit dominant when you first go in. Yeah, I might just pop up in Newcastle when I'm out with a couple of my mates. You know I love a good night out. Um, but I like to go from different towns and cities to see what the clubs are like, so in different towns and cities, so pop up to Newcastle when I'm out there, for. Lad, I used to live in there every fucking day, didn't I? I didn't have a beard, so I can't cook, lad. So I just had to eat out every fucking day. And um, yeah, Piccolino always just happened to be where I'd like them pachettas. Yeah, so I'll be back in there when I'm out. The worst thing about prison is fucking the majority of prisoners, 90% of them are just dirty little scabby druggies off the head on spice, hence why I only speak to four or five people. The good as it can be in jail, it should be out soon, so I'll just look on that side, the positive side. As long as I'm healthy, looking good, and making money, then I'm happy. Yeah, I, I like the IRA. I completely think that their organisation was completely justified to kick England out of Ireland because we had no right to be in Ireland. So, yeah, I support the IRA. Yes, lad. Come, as I said, anyone sees me when I'm out, as they often do, um, come up and say hello. I'm always approachable and friendly. So, yeah, um, in a bit. I genuinely think it is, yeah, for the simple fact is, as I said, I'm focusing on my legit businesses when I get out. And... I've got that, I've, I've, I'm intelligent enough to set these up properly. As long as I'm making good money, then I go legit. Yeah, lads, when I got out last time, I'd fucking, I'd been comfort eating on fucking biscuits for two and a half years, but this time, I've just been training at, well, for six, about six times a week in my show, just doing cell workouts, lad, trying to keep in shape. The reality is about 20%, the rest will all be fucking at it, probably. Like, that, that, that's just my experience, or like what I've seen from other prisoners. Gotta be tuna noodles all day long in here, lad. That's the only form of protein you can get in here. But, um, yeah, I, I, I lean more towards the tuna, me, lad. <laughs> That's all I've done for the last year, just reading up on diamonds um, with these books. But, yeah, it's, um, it's going good. That's all I do, as I said. Eight hours a day just studying diamonds. What do you think, lad? Extra two years all day long. Not only that, lad, but um, for every t £10 you donate to charity, only a pound that goes to the cause. The charity can keep the other 90% for what they call admin fees. That's where the charity scam comes into it. It depends what, you, what you're into, you know. If you want something, a book on strategy, um, I'd say 48 Laws of Power in the Art of War. Um, you want something positive, I'd say The Secret or The Power. Any of them. Yes, Power Beater, I just tagged it there, lad. Always got love for you London guys down there. Um, yes, yeah, stay tuned, lad, in a bit. It all depends what mood I'm in, you know. Um, if I'm feeling dominant, then... Um, 
<laughs> I'm not even going to give you, I can't even give you that, um, and see, you know, fucking I've got people on here, be putting their hands over the face, thinking, what the fuck? But, um, use, your, use your imagination, I'm always dominant. Nice one for that, bro. Um, and yeah, as I said, lad, and you see me any time, approach me, I say hello to you, I treat everyone the same, I don't think I'm better than anyone. Um, and yeah, I've always, always got time for people, in a bit, bro. Nah, you use up in Scotland, get given knockers by the screws, don't you? Um, we, we just get prison cell phones, that's it, lad, we're attached to the wall. As for smarties, those who don't know iPhones, um, we get fucking slammed for them, and plus, like, free guys. I've seen a few posh people in jail, you know, um, I just don't understand why they want to live that life and they don't need to, they can live a legit life of big money, but they want to choose graft, it makes no sense. Yeah, lad, there was a guy called Taffo from Warrington, um, he pretends he's a gangster lad, but the reality is he's just a mummy of daddy's rich boy, um, that's where he got his dough from, but he pretends he made it off graft, he's just a fucking dickhead, but he's the reason why I've been in for a year now, grass. Not gonna lie, lad, in city and say it's easy because it's clearly not. Like psychologically, lad, it's fucking shite, and then obviously it gets bored, boring as well. Twenty-two hour lockup, but um, yeah, it's prison's not easy, lad. It really isn't. Nice show for that, love. Always good to wake up to a good compliment. Um, you know I like a good compliment, don't you, girls? Um, yeah. So nice show for that in a bit. They're definitely not blood diamonds. They'd be completely legitimate diamonds directly from the mine in Africa. Um, and the reason why is because there's massive amounts of money to be made, and that's what I can use to finance what I want to do in the slums. And yeah, and live a good life off the back of it. Yeah, like a flag up, you know, the best thing is just to try and get a black um, passport or just drive out like, through the channel tunnel. That's probably the safest way. Um, don't use an airport because you're getting nicked straight away. My type, at, as it stands at the moment, is a bird who knows loyal and trustworthy. That's the main thing. Because you've got to be trustworthy and you've got to be loyal. Um, and obviously looks come into that as well. If you're sexy, loyal and trustworthy, That's the one, lad. He has everyone blagged down. Warrington, he's a fucking gangster when he's not. He's a fucking muppet, lad. Just kisses the ass of anyone who's got a reputation and fucking pretends he's a gangster when he's not, lad. He just lives off his mum and dad. Scousers are the best breed, lad. That's why. You, you, wherever you go in the world, you come across a scouser. And, um, yeah, the best breed, lad. Probably not being able to do me work because I was dyslexic. When I was about 13, it was, weren't it? Throwing a can of coke at the teacher's head. And I'm um, getting expelled for that after it knocked him out. My best memory. My only memory. Not too bad, mate. I just focus just on reading. And I'm um, just trying to learn something new every day. As I teach my son, try and learn something new every day. That's the motto for whatever he wants to live by. To be honest, lad, when he fell out, I thought he was a dickhead. But over the years, as I um, bumped into him a couple of times, he actually turned out to be a nice lad. To be honest with you, lad. Yeah, I'd like to say he's a dickhead, but he's actually not. He's actually a decent lad.
The worst day was probably Belmarsh Jail. Absolutely fucking shit all filthy. And the fucking prison was just rough. Um, best jail would probably be Abrick Jail. But unfortunately, it's the same for months as well. You can do, but um, there's no rehabilitation courses, you know. You can earn like 10 pounds a week by being a cleaner on the wing, but I just, I'm just locked up 22 hours a day. Um, you've got to be kissing serious ass to be a cleaner.